The technological revolution is transforming our world. Change and technology advancements inspire us. Invention plus exploitation is innovation. Sustainable development is the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Engineering is the closest thing to magic that exists in the world. Elon Musk This is Petroleum Engineering, Biomimetic Surface, an engineering method for innovation and sustainability in oil and gas industry. This presentation contains five parts. The introduction, the history of biotechnology product, about the product and how it works, the importance and its application, and the conclusion. First part is introduction. So, what is biomimetics? Biomimetics defined as the examination of the nature, its models, systems, processes, and elements to emulate or take inspiration from in order to solve human problems. So, ibig sabihin. So, from the word examination, it means examine. So, in nature, in its models, systems, processes, and elements, and how it works and ay pinag-aaralan and may later to take inspiration from in order to solve human problems para masolusyonan kung ano po yung mga pangangailangan at problema ng tao. So next is I'm going to define I'm going to differentiate biomimetic from biomimetry. So biomimetic versus biomimetry. Biomimetic defines as the study of the structure and function of living things as models for the creation of materials or products by reverse engineering. While biomimicry is practice of applying lessons from nature to the invention of healthier, more sustainable technologies for people. So, so it simply means biomimetic is the study and examination, while biomimicry it is the application. Um, imitation and copying. So, I'm going to give you example. So, for example, I am the innovator, I am the developer, or, something, or someone would be able to make something useful. From the knowledge I have, from the knowledge I have obtained from the biomimetics, I apply ko dun sa product na ginagawa ko. So, kapag na-apply ko na yun, ayun na yung tinatawag natin na biomimicry. Kung saan, in-apply ko na nga yung kung ano yung natutunan ko na that, wa that was inspired by the nature na makakatulong sa mga tao at maaari ding maka-adapt kung ano ba yung na maaaring maka-adapt sa pangangailangan ng mga tao so next is biomimicry so I'm going to define biomimicry Biomimicry offers a chance to make things right, to embrace a system's view of our world and begin living within planetary limits. So, what is the goal of biomimicry? The goal of biomimicry is to build a, a more life-friendly world, one which, in which human technologies meet the same design constraints that the rest of life on Earth works. To be specific, Biomimicry helps us in many ways. So biomimicry brings rel brings relief. So we're stressed, our planet stress. Men are losing hope or so did the climate crisis and it and it's men it's many negative effects on ecosystems across the world. Biomimicry gives us hope because we know the solution for our greatest challenges are here. Accessible and validated by the many species species still alive today. By using nature as our mentor, we get to experience the powerful healing effects. It has by connecting to the nature. It has by connecting to the natural world by also finding empowering relief to solve these challenges together. Next is biomimicry helps us design generously. Circularity, sustainability, regenerative design. It all means that the things we humans make become a force for restoring earth, 
water and soil instead of degrading it. Nature uses structure to change functions and also uses passive forms of energy, whereas our inventions use brute force like mining ancient carbon. And the multitude of harmful chemicals, we can create conditions conducted to life just like nature does. Third one is biomimicry gets us to sustainable solutions faster. So in climate climate change won't wait. We must look to the biological blueprints that have been successful over millennia to launch groundbreaking ideas faster. We don't need to reinvent the strategies that are already here. We just need to learn how to adopt them. And last is, biomimicry changes our lens, our lens on the world. Innovators turn to biomimicry with the hope of achieving a unique product that is efficient and effective. But they often gain a deep appreciation of and connection to the natural world. Next is the examples. First is the Jekka tape. The natural stickiness of Jekka's feet has inspired decades long research efforts to develop advanced adhesives. Now, a company spun out of a university research group called the Nanogrip Tech has taken the science out of the lab and into the market. And through this, a number of newly available products promise to deliver enhanced grip and reusability. Next is the bullet train. When a Japanese engineer took an, uh, on the daunting task of upgrading their high-speed bullet trains, their design hit one unfortunate snag. Why? Because there is a problem. The problem is it wasn't getting the trains up to the desired speed, but rather the massive amount of noise created by the displacement of air ahead of the trains. The design team determined the culprit to be the train's rather blunt front nose cap to minimize the tunnel boom and increase overall aerodynamics they would need a more streamlined nose so the engineers eventually modeled the next model after the beak of the king's or the kingfisher's bird the kingfisher birds have specialized beaks allowing them to dive into water to hunt while making a minimal splash utilizing this new nose the next generation 500 series trains were 10% faster, consumed 15% less electricity, and most importantly, no more boom. The next is the part 2 of this report, which is the history of biotechnology product or the history of biomimetics. The timeline of biomimetics. The history of biomimetics found easily in everyday life and often used without our knowledge and this biomimetics is a broad field which has a long long history first is in 1452 to 1519 where Leonardo da Vinci worked for a fundamental example of biomimicry he designed a flying machine inspired by a bird Next is General Yi San Sin built the turtle ship. It is a warship modeled after, after a turtle to fight Japan, Japanese invaders during innovation, invasion. Next is the Wright Brothers where the airplane was created in 1867 to 1948. They took note the wings of the eagle and made a powered airplane that succeeded in human flight for the first time in 1903. Over the next century, the airplane became faster, more stable, and more aerodynamic. 
Next is Schemit, who first coined the biomimetics in 1957, and he announced the turning point of biology and technology. In, a 1960, in 1960, Jack E. Steel of NASA was coined the word bionics and first to use the, the word biomimetics in paper in 1969. Next is Jack E. Steel of NASA who coined the word bionics in 1960 and he also first used biomimetics in paper in 1969. And because, and because of this, it was led to the addition of the dictionary to the dictionary in 1974. In 1997, Janine M. Benyus published her book Biomimicry, which emphasizes that biomimicry is leading the path to a new age of technological development by taking lessons from nature as the groundwork for products rather than just using it in raw materials. Also, Janine Benyus and others step up to further organize a social enterprise called the Biomimicry 3.8. It is to share ideas and concepts of biomimicry and biomimetics as well as to connect into the interdisciplinary researchers or the researchers, scientists, engineers, business leaders, and stakeholders. The definition of biomimetics comes or originated from the word from the Greek word bios, which means life, and misesis, to imitate. Yet, its definition is not as simple as just two words. More specifically, biomimetics is creative form of technology that uses or imitates nature to improve human lives. The concept of biomimetics is to center on the idea that there is no model better than nature for developing something new and has produced excellent results in productivity and function. The idea of looking into nature for inspiration has been practically used long time ago. And in some countries, it has been called by different names. In Japan, it was called intellectual structure and in USA, it was, it was called a smart material. Next is the field of biomimetics. Humans have heavily impacted the nature with industrialization and resource extraction and however, biomimetics can help to avoid this pattern. Biomimetics goes by simply using natural properties as the basis for innovation of new products. And this product can be designed to play a part in a general industry as well as to provide human convenience in the field of chemistry, biology, architecture, engineering, medicine, and biomedical engineering. This five field, fields was some of the fields of biomimetic engineer, uh, biomimetics. First is arts. Arts and architecture can be interconnected and apply, in applying biomimetics. Why? Because first is the art of making a product. The thinking the, the brainstorming of the product and how to design this product. And next is the architecture field. And in the field of architecture, the application of biomimicry mainly emphasizes on improving the built environment through the development of site works, construction and operation, and reduction in the environmental impacts like carbon emissions and waste and many more. Also, biomimetic can be applied in an engineering field. Believe it or not, some tools, vehicles, and products that you see in, in our daily basis or use have been inspired by animals and natures. Innovation that have changed the world for the better and have made your life a little bit easier. In short, biomimicry is the process of taking the innovation that exist in nature and applying them into technology. Next is medicine. Biomimetic was also applied in med medicine field with the use of applied biotechnology to produce a biomimicry or a medical or a medical tool. Next is fashion. Also, fashion can be applied in biomimetic. From the tech from the textile 
to the product itself or from the cloth to gown to the dress or any other materials that are made of cloth also there is a way or, or processes on how this biomimetic can be done first is to define clearly articulate the impact you want your design to have in the world and the criteria and constraints that will lead or address or that will determine the success next is to biologize analyze the essential functions and context your design solution must be addressed reframe them in biological terms so that you can ask nature which is the website for advice next or the third step is to discover look for natural models in an organism or ecosystem that need to address the same functions with the context as your design solution you need to find an object in an in nature with the same as your idea or or functions that you have your design this this will identify the strategies that you will use to support the survival and success the fourth one is abstract carefully study the essential features or mechanism that make the biological strategies successful restate them in non-biological terms as a design strategies the fifth step or the fifth process is to emulate look for the look for the patterns and relationship among the strategies you found and and hone in on a key lesson that should inform your solution develop design concepts based on these strategies evaluate is the last process assess your design concepts for how well they meet the criteria and constraints of the design challenge and fit into the earth or into the world considering technical and business and model feasibility refine and revise previous steps as needed to produce viable solution so these are the six steps or the processes in making biomimetic design also biomimetics was spread into the market so the current market size was become bigger and bigger in Europe Japan and the USA, biomimetics is being recognized as the technology of the future and there is increasingly interest and in funding. The global companies such as General Electric, Human Miller, HP, IBM, Nike, and Ford are collaborating with scientists and designing laboratories to explore novel technologies. The biomimetics or the market size for products and construction projects that applied biomimetics was estimated above uh, 1.5 billion dollars in 2025 industry analyst project that products and services and biomimicry will increase estimatedly in a uh, 1 trillion dollars and then in US alone 35 billion dollars was will um, expected and over 1.6 million of opportunities the present and future of biomimetics in promoting the coexistence of nature and humans the economic environmental and social aspect of biomimicry are increasingly in demand and greater is the scope of application developed countries are actively investing in research to build the foundation for the innovation and development of biomimicry Biomimicry Institute and the Biomimicry Guild was established by Janine Benyus and she was also the creator of the Ask Organization web the asknature.org website which is the platform for advising biomimetics in USA. Next is the New York State Research and Development Authority is enforcing the use of biomimicry to solve various problems in energy next is the bionic competence network or the or the biocon this bionic competence network was was based on germany and 28 research centers are collaborating to establish this bio, biocon biocon has 35 projects that is that is sponsored by federal ministry of education and research then 
Bionis Bio or the Biomimetic Network for Industrial Sustainability is a network that correct or that connects businesses with with universities is being operated. Lastly, majority of the past biomimetic materials and the functional mimicries most originated from a nanoscale and microscale parts of insects and plants was developed in Europe. So, I'm going to talk about the product and how it works. And as you can see in the slide, it is about the application in drilling and production. The first product is the bionic bits. Bionic bits are developed in Jilin University in China and from the original drill bits, they've changed its appearance into bionic perspectives, meaning they imitate something they've seen in the environment and applied it into the product. For example, in the design of a bionic photo diamond inlay design, um, the front paws of the pangolin have been referenced. As a result, um, the drilling speed and service life have been significantly improved. And as you can see in the presentation, the product shows that the average drilling speed can be increased by 20%. And the operating life can be more than doubled when applying the same drilling speed. A bionic coupling PDC drill bit uses the distribution of the cellulose and alignin found in the bamboo as a reference. Coupling the design according to the non-smooth shape of the shell surface and other biological characteristics. Um, in addition, um, the field test results show that the drilling speed can be increased by 1.5 fold when compared with ordinary PDC bits, greatly shortening the construction speed. So next is the biomimetic fluid and its velvet pouch. To deal with the drilling issue, Shu and et al. designed a biomimetic drilling fluid system by maintaining the super adhesion ability of a marine muscle protein that can spontaneously solidify on the surface of a bulbar rock, um, forming a dense and adhesive biomimetic shell, thereby maintaining the stability of the bulbar wall. Um, additionally, the biomimetic inhibitor has a good ability to inhibit the expansion, dispersion, and exfoliation of the shale hydration as well as effectively suppress the slurry production. In addition, Zeng et al. also developed a biomimetic velvet pouch drilling fluid that mimics the structure of a bacteria, particularly um, a red-shaped bacteria like this, and it is put in the drilling, uh, drilling machine and it can temporarily stop the loss of a reservoir without a solid phase during the drilling process. Um, recently, biomimetic velvet pouch drilling fluid has played an important role in coal bed methane or the CBM. Um, unbalanced drilling, air drilling, um, leak proof plugging, and rapid drilling. In the drilling tools, biomimetic surfaces have been optimized using a wear resistance belt and threaded shoulder on the tool joint. The addition of a biomimetic surface is better than an untreated surfaces with the effects of a tensile force wearing bending moment and wear resistance of the tool joints. Refer to the picture shown in the slide. Um, that is an example of a biomimetic drilling tool. Researcher Gao et al. proposed the fabrication of a non-smooth structures on the surface of the tool joints artificially to produce non-smooth wear characteristics which can increase the service life of the drill pipe and greatly reduce the cost of the drilling. Moreover, during an expansion tube operation, the non-smooth surface reduces the frictional resistance between the expansion cone and the inner wall of the expansion tube, thereby improving the wear resistance of the expansion cone. Next product is the biomimetic piston. Wu and C have conducted numerous studies and tests on a biomimetic piston used in an internal combustion engine. Based on the characteristics of the body surface of a shellfish, they processed an optimized surface on the piston skirt of a piston cylinder. In addition, their test results show that a biomimetic piston is superior to an ordinary piston in terms of heat dissipation, friction reduction, and lubrication performance. Um, another researcher named Son et al. designed and manufactured concave-shaped bionic components of the surface of a mud pump piston. 
and under the same test conditions, it was found that the mimetic mod pump piston significantly increases the service life by 2.9 to fold. And interestingly, different biomimetic structures have also shown different improvements in service life and dynamic seal capabilities. For example, the wear life of a bionic fit-shaped piston is better than of a striped piston. Biomimetic brake blocks. Um, to improve the wear resistance and service life of a great cast iron brake discs for drilling drop works, um, Song and Al applied the bionic coupling principle to the processing of non-smooth units such as dots, stripes, and grids on the surface of a great cast iron using a laser processing. Likewise, the friction and wear properties of different bionic units were investigated. As you can see in the slide, um, bionic coupling brake disc has a high friction coefficient and good wear resistance and the service life is increased by more than 50%. Considering that the braking part of a brake brake is much larger than of an automobile, the braking effect, service life, and economic value require more support both theoretically and experimentally. Biomimetic brake blocks applied to drilling draw works may be a good prospect. Okay, let's proceed to the next slide. Refer to the table shown. Synergistic mechanisms of a biomimetic surface during the application of drilling and production equipment can be summarized as follows. The bionic bits of the surface produce a self lubricating effect by storing abrasive debris of the lubricating fluid. In addition, the non smooth surface blocks the continuity of the liquid layer on the surface, achieving a desorption effect. Um, the expansion of the surface area improves the heat dissipation efficiency and the biomimetic surface relies on a localized contact to achieve a uniform stress distribution. In short, during the process of oil and gas drilling and ex exploration, um, even when the operation condition of the oil equipment is extremely poor, the biomimetic surface and the macro scale can exploit to the advantages of the wear resistance and drug production and an unprecedented development in this field can be achieved. Although research into new materials is still important, the standardization and the systematization of biomimetic surface design and its application are critical to the subsequent development. So, um, the oil and water separation. Because membrane separation technology has the advantages of a low energy consumption, um, simple processing, less pollution, and strong versatility, the adoption of functional membranes instead of traditional separation membranes will be a future development trend. Um, however, a super ultra filtration membrane is still at the laboratory research and development stage. Tao et al. prepared a super amphiphilic polyvinylidine fluoride or the PVDF membrane that achieves a switchable transport performance and the membrane display uh, displays a superior permeability as well as high separation efficiency. They also fabricated a stable super hydrophilic surface by inflating TiO2 nanoparticles on the polyactide or PLA ultra filtration membrane. Meanwhile, the idea of using functional nanoparticles to construct a high-strength polymer membrane has been described. Um, subsequently, a novel and effective coated mesh for oil and water separation was fabricated as shown in the picture below the slide. So, the oil and gas pipeline transportation. In this regard, biomimetic surface engineering has been well applied. For instance, a pipeline with a diameter of 6 mm and a wall thickness of 12 mm coated with a super hydrophobic materials achieves a drug reduction Chayat Al applied a super hydrophobic nanostructure surface to a pipeline and found that the pressure in the pipeline was reduced by 20% to 30%. In addition, a super hydrophobic surface composed of secondary micro nonstructure achieved a better drug reduction effect than a primary structure surface. The drug reduction effect of a novel inner coating of a pipeline has been validated and experimentally using air or gas and the results showed that the drug release um, efficiency can achieve a spectacular 8% increase compared with the original coded biomass.
in follow-up study, it was found that the parallel stretch surface improved the drug reduction performance to a small extent, and the perpendicular stretch surface expands the selection range of the flow rate as compared to the original biomimetic surface. So next is a drug reduction of our Through numerical simulations and experimental analysis, it has been concluded that the biomimetic surface displays a better resistance to a drug reduction than a smooth surface. In through and pit type surface models, the drug and lift coefficients have decreased by 16% and 6% respectively. Moreover, the application of biomimetic surface structure applied in the drug reduction technology of the riser has also provided another idea for the stable placement of the late scale subsea equipment in the different pipelines. Okay, next is the ocean transportation. A green ship with features such as renewable energy, biomimetic drug reduction, and water resistant clothing has been seen as a potential solution to the problem facing the shipping industry. Therefore, numerous studies have been conducted on a biomimetic drug reduction and have achieved promising results. There are currently three types of biomimetic drug reduction technologies on the book. The first one is the mimetic shark, surface groves. The second one is the external jets. And the third one is the biomimetic super hydrophobic surface. So in this slide, it shows a table of the different types of biomimetic drug reduction. So the first one is a microgrove, which looks like a shark, a super hydrophobic, which looks like a lotus leaf, and a flexible buffer, which looks like a dog. You can see there the drug reduction mechanisms and at the other side is the structure and the figure of that particular type of biomimetic drug reduction. So next one is the marine anti-fouling coating. Biomimetic surface coatings use bionics principle to achieve an anti-fouling effect by simulating the epidermal structure of marine organisms including sharks, shells, dolphins, and sea lions. It was found that shark epidermis has a weak anti-fouling ability against adult muscles with a certain inhibitory effect on the attachment of microscopic biological diatoms. Anti-fouling tests show um, that the surface morphology of the material reduces the surface energy, resu resulting in a reduction of the biological attachment. China et al. prepared anti-fouling effect of imitation shark skin, taro lip, and rose petal textures following effect of the imitation shark skin with the laminated swimming structure is clearly better than that of the other two groups, the regular convex and the big texture model. So, another coating is the anti-icing coating. In the process of polar operations, the normal operation of the large equipment such as electric power and transportation are often affected by ice, causing inconvenience or even accident. The traditional method of anti-icing is mostly based on a melting method which consumes large amounts of energy and is ineffective. During the past few years, the main mechanisms of biomimetic anti-icing have been anti-freezing or preventing water droplets from adhering to the surface and allowing direct removal before freezing. The inhibition of ice nucleation or the delaying the crystallization of water droplets and thus extending the freezing time and lastly, the removal, which is the reducing the adhesion force between the ice and the surface, allowing the ice to easily to fall off. However, owning a volume of expansion that occurs during the icing, damaging or riveting or a micro non structures, the surface coating loses its hydrophobicity, and the problem of an ultra smooth uh, porous coating is that it tends to fall off, which needs to be further solved. For the next part, we are going to talk about the importance of biomimetic in oil and gas industry. Biomimetic is important because it can be applied in many ways in the oil and gas field. For example, is the application in drilling and production. The products made with the use of biomimetic surface engineering like bionic bits, biomimetic drilling fluid, biomimetic drilling tools, and biomimetic brake blocks used in drilling draw, draw works were important in a sense of making the drilling works more efficient and convenient. 
like the product discussed earlier, for example, the bionic bits um, increase the, the drilling speed by 20%. So, we can say that the, the biomimetic makes the drilling works more efficient and faster. Biomimetic surface engineering is mainly used in the drilling processes through surface treatment technology applied to strengthen the surface performance of the contact surface of the equipment under harsh working conditions. And the next one is the application in oil and gas, oil and gas storage and, and transportation. With the use of biomimetic surface engineering, the oil and gas storage and its transportation were now made easier through improved pipelines and its new method for of the oil water separation and the transportation drug reduction technology to a certain extent. However, I mean, a method to allow a biomimetic surface to operate stably for a long period of time can be prepared at a large scale and low cost and to allow and to allow corresponding bionic surface to reasonably selected according to the corresponding working condition is needed to ensure satisfactory results in practical engineering applications. And the next is the application in polar development. The marine industries have become an important pillar in the global economic development. An offshore platform is an important aspect in the development of oil and gas resources and marine transportation has become an emerging force for the transfer resources. Similar to the oil and gas storage and transportation application, biomimetic surface technology has been successfully applied to reduce the resistance and corrosion in the ocean water. The application in ocean and polar development includes the drug reduction of riser, which is the application of biomimetic surface structure applied and the drug reduction technology of the riser has also pro provided another idea for the table placement of large-scale subsea equipment such as subsea pipe planes. The next is the marine anti-fouling coating that prevents a large number of marine fouling organisms to stick to the surface of the hull during a voyage such as barnacles, mussels, and micro-environmental fouling organisms. And lastly, the anti-icing formula which is developed to, prevent, to help prevent the large equipments like electric power and transportation to freeze during the oil and gas exploration in polar regions like in the Arctic region. So, to sum it up, biomimetic engineering is very important in the oil and gas in industry due to its application in drilling and production, storage and transportation, and in polar and ocean development with the help of the new products and different methods they have developed. Conclusion, Marika. Advantages of using biomimetic surface engineering to achieve an energy-saving effect are becoming increasingly obvious. And new materials and methods are continuously being developed. So it is said that in order to help solve human problems and to make life more easier, Biomimetics creates technologies that imitates nature to help improve human life. Chemistry and bio biology are applied in the synthesis of materials. Biomimetic surfaces used in the oil field will mostly deal with the surfaces of mechanical components. So it is said here that the biomimetic surfaces will be used mostly in the mechanical components, meaning um, it is connected in technology or the machines that will be used in the oil field. And to achieve significant improvements in new multifunctional surfaces from 
hydrophobic to super amphiphobic are required. So the product or the machine um, should contain all the characteristics that are said in the hydrophobic to super amphiphobic because it is said and uh, they are connected in some ways like the water, surfaces of water, um, oil, gas, all the characteristics that are said. And the product should contain that or the machine so that we can know if the machine is capable of doing the application of biomimetic surface engineering in the oil and gas field has broad research prospects and values which can greatly reduce the energy loss and protect the ecological environment. So, that being said, biomimetic surface engineering has a big factor on preserving the energies and protecting all living and non-living things around us. So, biomimetic surface engineering can cover most of the production needs in the oil and gas fields and provide innovative solutions and technical means for breakthrough of key technical issues, thereby further promoting the technological progress and green development. With that being said, the impact of the biomimetic surface engineering in the oil and gas industry is big. And it is responsible now and has the power to create new technologies and machines that can help the industry to grow and to help not only the industry of petroleum but also to help our environment.